Hey everyone, it's Jeannie. Thanks for joining me on my channel. And today I wanted to share a card I created using one of the new stamp sets from Trini Stamps Autumn Rainbow release. I'm actually using the stamp set called Autumn Rainbow. It has a coordinating die as well as a stencil. Today, I'll only be using the stamp and die for my card, but I have a ton of ideas for cards using the stencil as well. I just didn't have time to include it in this video. This card is also part of an Instagram hop for Trinity's new release. So if you want to stop by on Instagram and leave a comment for a chance to win a giveaway, I'll leave my Instagram handle down below. For the coordinating dies, there's only one leaf nested within another leaf, so I just used my snippers and snipped that out. But I wanted to leave the rest intact because this will make it so much easier to create a template for what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab a piece of white paper and create a template. I'm going to use that piece of paper and die cut these leaves directly out of this panel and I'll be using this to help me mass produce for this particular card. So I'm going to go ahead and tape that to the white piece of paper and run it through my die cut machine and this will be my template. I'm going to pull out a ton of cardstock. I'm going to pull out the colors of the rainbow. I have cardstock that I just get from Michaels and it works very well. It has all the colors that you could ever possibly need and that's what I'm using for today. So for the template that I'm using, I'm going to go ahead and put some painter's tape right behind it and I'll be inserting all the little die cuts that I had already cut out using the different colors of cardstock. I'll be inserting it into the template and then placing the stamps directly on top, matching them up. I was able to put on all the stamps except for one, which is the largest stamp out there just because the stem on that stamp is longer so I wasn't able to include it since it would overlap with another stamp. So I'm just going to go put it in the misty and stamp it and remove them and then insert the next set of colors and this is the quickest way to mass produce. I got this technique from Jennifer McGuire and it is so smart and makes it so much easier. You don't have to fiddle with the stamps each time and make sure that they line up and you just go ahead and stamp. So once I get through all the leaves for the colors of the rainbow I'm going to go back with that larger leaf and insert it and stamp it on there as well. This stamp is literally just the little details of the leaves and so that's where the stencil comes into play if you don't want to do die cutting. So you can put the stencils right over the little stems and you'll be able to ink blend on them. It's just such a cool idea to have multiple uses for either the dies or the stencil. I took out the A2 foundation rectangle stencils and I'm using that rectangle to make a frame on my craft cardstock. This is an A2 panel, so it measures at four and a quarter and five and a half. And I'm gonna go ahead and sort all my little leaves because it just made it easier for me to be able to see exactly all the little piles and all the little colors. So I'm just gonna be placing all the leaves in rainbow order and there is a variety from a very large leaf to a very teeny tiny leaf and I just go ahead around the frame in rainbow order and I usually kept the larger leaves in the corners and the smaller leaves to fill up the sides and it worked out perfectly where I ended up with purple where I started with red. So once I have everything placed nicely, I'm going to go ahead and glue everything down. So this card is pretty simple and with the mass production, you can see that I have a ton of different die cuts left over that I could have created another card. Of course, I was really tired when I was doing this and it was time to go to bed and I had work the next morning. So I put this aside, but I'm definitely going to go back and create another card because I already have all the little die cuts and why waste them. So when you mass produce, this makes it so much easier. That technique makes it so much easier and you end up with so many. So for the sentiment, I actually wanted to pop this up a little bit more on white. So I took the frame from the slimline frame and fold and I cut out a piece of white cardstock. That frame and fold also has this large die cut that says love you. So I thought it was perfect for this card. 
I'm actually going to pop that white cardstock on foam tape and using the stencil I'm just placing it right in the middle. The stencil actually has etchings on it so you can see where it is for the A2 card panel and I think that that works so well. So I wanted to add a bit of gold splatter so I'm just pulling out my metallic watercolors and splattering gold everywhere and my final card will look a little differently because I actually smeared it at the end and so I had to redo this white card panel and just pop it on top nobody will know this but it was just bugging me and I didn't want to put sequins on it because it was just in a weird place and yeah splatter sometimes works really well but sometimes you just can't control it and it goes everywhere so I'm only using the inner part of that die cut. It actually cuts out the shadow and then the delicate letters love you. And I decided that the delicate letters were perfect for this. It went really well with the bold colors of the flowers. And so I'm just adding glue onto the sentiment and I'll be placing it onto the white cardstock. So I'm using my tweezers. Those really help me with holding the thin die cut while I'm adding glue onto it. And it's something that's been in my crafty stash since I started card making and it's super helpful. So I'm just adding glue onto the sentiment and this card is more or less done. Like I said, the final looks a little bit different, but it's exactly the same idea and I think it turned out really well. So I hope you enjoyed this card. Stop by Trinity's Instagram hop for a chance to win and I will see you guys next time. Bye.